For those of you who don't know, most of you have probably seen that. That was me before I was saved. That was me before I made the decision to follow Jesus Christ. The Bible says that, that Jesus Christ came to destroy the works of the devil. And when we repent of our sins, He washes us in His blood that was shed. And He sets us free. He's the only one who can set us free. There are no other gods that can set you free. Every other god will pretend. But they just come to steal, to kill and to destroy. I was into witchcraft. Alcohol. I was a drug addict. A drug dealer. I was bad. I was half insane. But then I made the decision to, to, to call out to Jesus. And say, help me Jesus. Help me Jesus. I was full of demons. Four demons. I said, Jesus, help me. And from one day to the next, in 24 hours, He came into my life and set me free in one day. Overnight. I was free. I had peace. I had joy. I knew what love was. But now I know the love of God. The love of God. He loves everyone. He loves everyone. He loves every one of you people. Every one of you. He knows every one of you by name. He knows how many hairs are on top of your head. He knows what you're doing now. He knows the sin that's keeping you in bondage. And He's the only one who can break those chains. He's the only one. Jesus Christ. The Bible calls Him the King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. The Alpha, the Omega, the first and the last. The beginning and the end. He came to give us life. He came to give us abundant life. Open the door and invite Him in. Invite Him in. And He will set you free like He set me free. Now, I was involved in witchcraft. I was serving the devil. I've seen many supernatural things. And I was excited by its power. But the Bible says that the thief comes not but to steal, to kill and to destroy. So when you think the devil gives you something, he's taking much more away. He's stealing, he's killing and he's destroying. The Bible says, There shall not be found among you anyone that makes his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that uses divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits or a wizard or a necromancer necromancy means speaking to the dead God hates it God hates it 
Saints that they're demons. Oh, my devil, my devil, God, that's what they've got to jump into them. The Bible says it is appointed but once for man to die, then comes the judgment. When we pray to dead people, we're praying to demons. Whether they look like our ancestors, whether they look like saints, they're demons and they're deceiving. Then it goes on, for all that do these things, are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God does drive them out from before thee. If you're practicing witchcraft, God cannot help. God will not help. You must repent. You must repent of your witchcraft. God will free you. God, Jesus is stronger than the devil. Jesus is stronger than man, any man. He can remove all fear. He removes all fear. I have a respect for the devil. But I don't fear him. I have no fear of the devil. Because the Bible says the God of peace, the God of peace will trample Satan under my feet. So you must turn away from witchcraft. You must turn away from images and idols. You must get them out of your house. You've got to get them out of that, your house. These things will keep you bound. They'll give legal right for the enemy to enter. So if you want to be free, you've got to destroy the witchcraft items. And if anyone's fearful here, bring them here tomorrow and we'll burn them. Doesn't matter what they are, we'll burn them, we'll destroy them for you. We'll break their power and they'll have no power over you. Tu m'as rimé,